Hey guys, I'm the Pickle Norwal. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I'm a little stuffy today, so I apologize um, for how I sound whenever I read and talk and all that stuff. So in the last one, we um, we found the constable dead. I think that was in the last video. And then we went and talked to Spencer, and then he confessed that he... Um, he poisoned Helen's food, but it wasn't enough to kill her and everything. So now we have to talk to Ludovico. And then after we talk to Ludovico, we'll see if it takes us to where the profit of profitability is. But we'll see. Alright. Inspector. Okay, so I've completed my investigation into Helen's poisoning. Excellent. I trust you have a name for our poisoner. Yeah, um, it's, it's Spencer. He confessed to the crime. Oh, I am disappointed. I'd always believed Mr. Woolrich a man of high character. It pains me to order the arrest and detention of someone I admired. I'd like you to continue investigating Helen's murder. You've found the poisoner, but her killer remains at large. Uh-huh. So I looked into Cedric. Closely, I trust. Tell me what you found. So, um... I'm about to disappoint you. He's got an alibi. Of course he's got an alibi. He runs Sublight Underground. He probably starts his day by preparing half a dozen alibis. With that in mind, do you think Cedric was responsible for Helen's death? No. Um, let's see. He runs Sublight. He could have ordered her death without bloodying his hands. She was making money for him. I doubt he has a motive to killing for killing her. He was torturing a guy at the time of Helen's death. I can't see past that alibi. Fair enough, Inspector. Real. I won't try to influence your judgment any more than I already have. Unfortunately, even I don't have the authority to detain Cedric. His line of work is dangerous, though. There's always a chance for an accident. Yeah, sure. Um, sorry, to disappoint sorry to disappoint you, Ludovico. He's alive and well. Well, I'm... Glad to hear that. I've already lost Dr. Blossom and Constable Keen, but at least Cedric's alive. The universe is a just place. He sounds so disappointed. Oh well, at least, at least he's alive. Okay. So we got that. We told on Spencer. So now all that's left is going to the ooh, the productivity queen. Um, and then. I guess that's it. I know there's more to this. <clears throat> uh -huh. Always so nice to hear you, Inspector. I'll get you to your floor on the double. Um, I want to leave. I guess the lobby. See if anybody's to there. The lobby we go. There's no way that we're already like at the end. In no way. Um. Okay, well, I mean, I, I wanted to assume that maybe somebody had something to say, but no. So, let us go. Uh, we'll start making our way to the profit of profitability. And then maybe through her stuff? We'll get sent to the other factory that we haven't been to yet, but we'll see. I I really feel like there was like way more. Yeah, we haven't been here yet. We haven't explored there. Um. Uh huh? Money. money. I don't have any money, baby. I don't know what daddy did with yours. Okay, so this is gonna be like a little bit of a trek, but... I have no idea which way I'm pointing. East... North, okay. So we need to go through this way, right? Or that way. Hold on, let me just get to the freaking edge. Okay, yeah, this way. 
Unless maybe like I can just go that way and explore. But we'll go ahead and go talk to her because we we've waited long enough. I don't know if this is a How do I get over there? Yeah. So that's a chain, that's a chain. How do I get over there? I guess there then? It's Yeah. Ah, uh, big yikes. Okay. See, I think I see a bridge to the I guess the fog that will take us up there. I think. Look at that. Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Ooh, a lift. Uh oh. Now! Aww. Oh my god. My leg! That's what you get! Oh, the low level, too. That's the last of them! Heal me! Yeah, I'm not surprised. This is Silvio Tran, setting a new record for the Grand Colonial Bellhops Laundry Cart League. If you're listening to this, you're listening to history. And tall tree, as we agreed, when I win, you're scraping terrorist shit off the windows for the rest of your contract. And you can stow the fear of heights routine because there's no way you're weaseling out of that, pal. Here goes. Oh, That's Christ. move the box. No, not no. All right, dig dog. Alright, here we go. So now we're on like their... Their zoo area type thing. Let's look around. Okay. And nothing. Alright, let's go. Hello, person. Byzantium Taurus. Mr. Kincannon really knows how to run a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we ever respected a gate in this colony. Yeah, for real. I, I, got, I thought part of body got stuck back there. Can't believe we got to deal with marauders on Eridana. Yeah, what a shame. Look, woolly cows. Alive and not drunk. Or hugover, I should say. Look at him! Pew! <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. Legal. Gunther, I need to ask you something. Hunt takes Who the hell is Gunter? I told you to call me Hunter. Come on! Oh, right. G uh, Hunter, have you seen a little mechanical wandering through here? Might have been wearing my hat. I can't say I have. I can sell you a new hat if you want. Or some fine, legally obtained hunting supplies. You could go get that mechanical thief yourself. She's not a thief. She's lost. I just want her back. Okay. 
Oh, hey there, stranger. Don't mean to interrupt your business, but uh, have you seen a stray mechanical wandering about? I have not. Um... You wanna... I, I mean, I did overhear the conversation. Seems I'm running my mouth too much. My mechanical Betty up and wandered away a couple days back. I've been trying to track her, but the beasts make it hard. Personally, I prefer my organs inside my body. The shopkeep says I should buy one of his rifles and go looking myself, but like my machine, I'm not combat inclined. We can help her out, right? Won't take too long if we're on the job. I yeah. know it's a pain, but I think I need some outside help. Job or no job, I'm not leaving Betty out in the wastes. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see, um... What kind of mechanical is your lost charge? Betty's just your standard tripod mechanical. Though, she probably is still wearing my hat. <laughs> Without it, she seems kind of naked. Her main purpose is cacao milking, but the only cacaos in the reserve are close. Without a directive, she shouldn't have had reason to wander away from the milking area. Um, okay. Let's see. I think it could be trying to continue its directive out in the depths of the reserve. Hope it's not milking anything, not a cacao. Almost all other breast milk is or beast milk is toxic. Sounds like bad program parameters. Your mechanical might be chasing canids, or worse. Oh, well, let's do science. Oh, so that's how they make zero-g brew. Gonna need to find Betty in the first place before anything can or can't happen with what she's milked. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for any suspicious mechanicals. Hey, thanks so much. It would have been mighty lonely without her. Uh, uh, being unemployed, I mean. Be lonely being unemployed. <laughs> uh -huh. If you find Betty, try sneaking up and hacking her. If you can't do that, finding a way to stop her current routines should send her back home. Okay, what's your story? Welcome to Hunter Legal's Legal Hunter Supplies. I am Hunter Legal. How might I help you today? That's one hell of a name. Um... I'm investigating the murder of Halcyon Helen. Have you seen or heard anything unusual lately? Unusual? This whole land complex is a failed wildlife exhibition turned hunting reserve. You can't go ten feet without stepping in unusual. But I reckon you're asking about people unusual. I'd go have a chat with the prophet of profitability. Maybe she can intuit you in the right direction or something. But she is mighty far in the depths okay. of the reserve. Perhaps you should purchase one of my fine armaments for the journey. Sure, I'll take a look. Um, let's... Interesting name your shop has, yeah, for real. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. It is a perfectly normal name for a shop dispensing hunter supplies. Uh-huh. Do you mean hunting supplies? Like the sign above your shop says? No, these are supplies for hunters. <laughs> Hunter supplies. It works either way. I... It works either way. Boy, damn it. I wish I thought to get that sign switched out when I changed my name. Okay, is this really the best place for a shop? Where better to sell hunter supplies than in the depths of the wilds? Surrounded by creatures that are just waiting to devour you. I've got an excuse, but the Prophet and her retreat don't. And they're even farther out. Prophet said I should gift her some rifles to improve my aura or something. I told her what she could do with her aura. Haven't spoken to her since. But you look like you're smart enough to not make the decision that she'll invariably regret. Uh, I guess. Hunter supplies. Get your hunter supplies. Good lord, dude. I mean, they have good damage on the DPS. Jesus Christ. But you don't sell ammo. I ought to shoot you. How dare you not sell ammo? That is offensive. Okay, well, let's go then. Did it give me a... What did it? 
Okay, so the prophet is here, and then the robot is- Okay, so we'll go to get the robot first. So this way? Find Betty. Oh, okay. This is nice. Oh, no, there's canids. That's one down. My leg. Jesus Christ. Oh, it was already dead. I literally shot it like so many times and none of those those shots hit it. Really? What the heck? Well, that took like two seconds. Okay, well while she goes back, let's go look at at uh Let's go look at what this is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Right in my face. Jesus Christ, I love turning around to having a creature. Oh, it's gross. Right in my dadgum face. Jesus Christ. That's a crashed ship. Good God. There's squatters here. <sighs> oh, jump scare. Alright, well, I think that's all of for this. Yep, alright, let's go. Freaking terrify the crap out of me. There's people over there. Oh, wait. I'll go turn this in first. Surely I should run into them on the road. To the late- Dang, you still haven't made it. Okay, well I'm not gonna chase you. I have faith that the robot can get from there to here unscathed. Hey, I almost can't believe it. Betty found her way back! Here I was, thinking I'd never see her again! Huh? Uh, so... She was trying to milk canids. Oh, Betty, you big goof! What were you thinking in that little metal noggin of yours? You nearly worried me to death! And you, ain't you just the most reliable freelancer in the colony? Let me just take a look at Betty here and we'll talk about payment. Yep, that's right. Her parameters for movement and target acquisition are a mess. I'll bring her back to the garage and get her sorted out. Since Betty's back safe and sound, I'll be sure to let my co-workers know that you're a good one. Here's some money for your effort. Least I can do to show my thanks. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Alright, don't let any canid sniff you on the way out. <laughs> I won't. Okay. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha! Alright, anyways. <laughs> oh, these are named people. Isabella Essery Lawrence McLaughlin. Sorry, but we're a little busy right now. I'm sure one of the other guys would be happy to give you a tour. Lawrence, do you know who you're talking to? We always have time for the inspector. That's me! The inspector? That's you? 
I... I am so sorry. We didn't know what we were doing. We're so sorry. It'll never happen again. Um... Man, what are you talking about? This seems like a strange spot to loiter. What are you doing? No oh, law. It's all over. I told you someone would catch on sooner or later, Bell. Lawrence, let me do the talking here. Inspector, pay him no mind. I'm sure you've bigger saltuna to can than us. Uh, yeah. Let's see, uh, what did he mean by catch on? Don't pay him any mind, Inspector. His upper story's a little gap tooth, if you know what I mean. But seeing as you insist on sticking your- That is, since you're so curious, I'll fill you in on what we're doing. We, uh, misplaced some people on our last tour. Misplaced them in the maws of some local predators. Now we're stuck here wondering how to get their room keys. Ha ha ha. You got your guests killed and all you care about are the room keys. Hey, we all got our priorities. Not worrying about those keys ain't gonna bring their owners back from the dead. Anyway, the sooner we get those keys back, the sooner we can make it look like the ex-guests checked out early. Give me a reason why I shouldn't sell you out. Here's one. We ain't done nothing illegal. The guests signed the proper waivers to come out here. Still, it'd be a pain for Slug if we don't make it look like they checked out too. Byzantines aren't always put off by paperwork alone, sadly. We knew sooner or later this was gonna happen. We've got some hush money tucked away. If you can get those keys for us, it's all yours. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um... Say I got your keys, what's to stop me from telling your boss what happened? You kidding? You're welcome to. Our bosses would want this situation resolved, just like us. We're the real victims here. The dead can't suffer anymore, but we can, and we will if we have to pay for all these lost keys. That's messed up. Uh, sure, I'll get him. Did I just hear that right? The inspector is going to help us, Bill! Thank the stars! We're not out of the woods yet. Let's just see what happens before we celebrate. We last saw the guests deeper in the wilderness, Inspector. That'd be a good place to look. Okay. Try not to lose any more guests to wild beasts while I'm gone. That's pretty funny. Yeah, we were on a tour and they all died. Huh, sad. Huh. Where is this at? Oh, good lord. Okay, well, there's multiple places. Let's go ahead and get the one that's nearby. Dead hotel guest. Good lord. Well, hold on, there was people back here. <clears throat> Whoa. Was it this? That I saw? There was people on the outside of? Yeah. Commander, you ever wonder why they put lights on our armor? No, Trooper. What about these tubes poking out everywhere? No, Trooper, stop asking stupid questions. <laughs> Sorry, Commander. <laughs> Company gives us a discount on Spectrum Brown. Also, I can't actually, like, talk to them about anything. That's so funny. Stop asking stupid questions. Sorry. Oh, that's funny. I love that. Okay, so we have... Let's see, from where I'm standing. 282, 308, 174. There's doggos over there. So let's go get the closest one. What a cool, uh, thing. Visual. 
Oh, Raptodons. Oh, I can't see. You're like completely ignoring this other one. You're still alive? Jesus. Okay, what's this? Oh, Buggle Wuggles are over here. Okay. Not worried about it. But... Wow! Great work! Yep. That's us. I'm getting these quests done in like, no time. Jesus Christ. Oh, hey! Candy Canyon! I know this place. It's where they did free range fixer. Why did it sound like she was echoing from behind me? Like we were in a metal building. We go. <clears throat> All done. Look at that people. Alright, that guy. Let's go talk to these people. Someone has to be named, right? Ugh, Aether Jesus. waves won't be the same without Helen. We're all gonna be stuck with Spencer Woolrich. Nah, cause he's going to prison. Can't believe we got a deal with marauders on Eridanos. Might Helen have to go and die in our hotel? We don't need that kind of notoriety. Wow, okay. Why is my sound being weird? That looks like a building. I oh, that's the profit and profitability. Okay, hold on. Maybe we'll finish this. Like, I literally sound like I'm running around in a building. Why is that being weird? Oh my god. Oh, I gotta heal, gotta heal. Jesus. Yeah, I'm fine. It would have been nice to have a little bit of help. Eject. I'm not taking any of these. Alright, I recovered the room keys. So let's go back to the people. Over my dead body, will I ever accept a freaking... Um... Flaw. There we go. Just gonna take all these shortcuts. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
All right. Hey there. You find us those keys? Yep. That's all of them. You're a lifesaver and a half, Inspector. Lawrence, you got the bits? Let's see. Which pocket did I... Oh, they're in my hand. Ugh, Jesus. Here you are, Inspector. We'll make sure to put in a good word with our friends, too. I can't wait to put this behind us. Okay, what are you gonna do now? We'll wait here a little longer, and start clearing out their rooms when the shift changes. Not sure what we'll do with their belongings. I don't know. Lawrence, we talked about this, remember? What belongings? Anyhow, thanks again, Inspector. Good luck with your investigation. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't need the, uh, the brown nosing. I wasn't expecting to get a level up. Let's just do 90, because I mean, I'm freaking aggressively using handguns. Alright, so now she's all the way over there. And I guess that big building, I'm assuming that if I looked right, or it's connected to that building or whatever. <clears throat> it's so weird how my sound is doing this. It's whatever though. So abandoned Rizzo's bunker. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave going in here uh, for the next video, so we can go ahead and I guess like wrap up all the side stuff in these last two videos, I guess, and then we'll just do this, and then we will make our way to that other place we haven't been to, and then I'm assuming by then we will figure out who killed Helen. I don't know, but anyways, I want to go ahead and thank everybody so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.